Hey everyone, today we're looking at the Gamma K TK75 keyboard. I bought mine off Amazon for around $90. I should mention that I'm using Pegasus switches. When you buy this, you can buy it with the Griffin or the Pegasus, but I think the Pegasus are a little quieter, so that's the ones I have. Alright, so let's get to the most important part. How quiet is it? Let's take a look. So let's go through a couple of the things. You've got a volume knob over here, which is pretty cool. This is actually very useful. <laughs> I've used this probably more than I thought I would, so this is pretty cool. Obviously, there's the lighting, and you can switch them by pressing this button right here with this button, and you can switch different lighting modes. I'll kind of go through a couple of them here. And there are a couple of things you can do with it. If you want to turn it off, you click this and enter, which turns the whole thing off. You can make the lights faster by clicking that button along with the arrow. So now you can make it faster. You can also make it slower with the other arrow. You can turn the brightness down by using the down arrow. And you can turn the brightness up by using the up arrow. And once again, you can change the color by using these two buttons so you can find your preferred. So how can you connect this to your computer? So I'm doing it via cable. I have it running all the way back into my USB hub right here, but you can also do it wirelessly. If we flip it to the back, you can see that we do have these stands right here, and right here is your USB. To note, it is plastic, but honestly, man, it feels pretty good, so I almost don't mind. Okay, so, when you buy it, it also comes with a few things like a key remover. If you guys haven't done this before, like I have before getting this keyboard, how you remove these is you just clip it in, you twist it to the side, and then I only have one hand to use here, but it literally just comes right off. And there is the switch, and like I said, I am using the Pegasus switches. The other end of the tool, you can use to actually take out the switch. So if you grab both ends just like this and pull, and then pr apply pressure, pull up, you'll take that out. All right, if we want to put it back in there, we do this, and I can't even see what I'm doing. You literally just push it back in. There we go. You just push it back in. And then they also, at least in my package, they sent me with a few extra keys. And also, I think these are the Griffin switches, so you could switch a couple of them out. Um, a lot of the keys have artwork on them. So that's what these keys are. They're basically switch outs for a couple of them. So like these ones right here. They originally came with art, but I switched them out with the proper buttons here because I'm actually not a big fan of art. These ones sadly didn't come with replacements, so those are just what they are. And there's a lot of weird text on a lot of these keys, but honestly, I don't really mind. So for the past 10 years of my life, I've been using a loud mechanical keyboard. This is my first silent. So what do I think of it? I think it's great. Honestly, I am kind of in love with this keyboard, the, the sound. The typing is really, really, really great. Now, the one thing, again, I have to mention is I don't have experience with a lot of other silent keyboards, so I can't claim this is better than anyone else, but I can definitely say that I do love this one, and it's met basically all of my expectations. I think for the price that it comes at, around $80, $90, I think this is really good. For the people that are really, really into keyboards, I'll put some of the specifics up on screen, but, uh... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what half that stuff means. Anyway, I hope this helped somebody out. I'll leave an Amazon link to buy it in my description. If you do get it through it, I do get a few cents, so that'd be cool.